This is my lesson three of, of the mountains part of watercolor secrets and there's the Matterhorn that I'm starting out and I didn't do a great job with the sky but we'll see how it works out. I put Maxi here and the Matterhorn is going to be it's going to be a picture of it in a frame and then there's little Sam the cherry-headed conure down there and uh, yeah as I said it's from watercolor secrets and this was my lesson two from the mountains things and that was um, a butte from Monument Valley in northern Arizona United States so um, that's how things are going James brought back a bunch of dishes and didn't take his pizza with him so I don't know surely he would have seen it here um, I don't know if he's coming back but I was gone and now I'm back uh, I put the quarry on top of the stack but honestly I I just love that actor he did such a great job so that might be why and anybody who likes um, this movie will like these two also I think I on honestly everything that I'm reviewing today is worth watching um, the operative here well who doesn't like this guy right so and who doesn't like Denzel Washington so um, yeah and fatal attraction season one that was worth watching too so I'm gonna review these and Maybe James will show up by the time I'm done doing that. Who knows? If not, that's fine. Because I don't think he'd really have any major input to these movies. Um, yeah, this is about uh, murder. And uh, and the policeman who's trying to stop murder murderers. <laughs> I don't know. If um it's it's good. Anyway, I don't know. It's just one of those things. The operative, this is a secret agent sort of movie. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I really buy the romance, but I guess it takes all kinds. I don't. Maybe some people are attracted to that. But anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, it was interesting. It was longer than average length. What? 116 minutes. So it was it was a bit long, and. Um, as I recall, there were a fair amount of subtitles, and sometimes they were white on white. But, still worth watching. Um, so, this works because nobody would ever think that Denzel Washington is the bad guy. So, this is a vigilanteism sort of movie, and um, Denzel Washington is playing a guy who kills a lot of people and yeah he's like a one-man killing machine so anyway but you watch it and you're like well I love Denzel Washington so if um, there's vigilanteism you know that well, he's, he's got to be a good guy because how could he not be he's Denzel Washington uh, anyway, um, so normally I don't know how I'd feel about this vigilanteism, but with Denzel doing it, yeah, it's okay. Now he's up against some Italian mafia in this this one, and but it's he get it's not like he's against Italian people because he likes the Italian people that he's hanging with, and so he likes the the amiable people, the workers, the everyday guys that are out doing the job and living the life, not living off people and um, aggressively terrorizing them and whatever. So um, anyway, 
and the, the bad guys that are involved with drug trading and all sorts of things. And anyway, um, there's, I mean, there's some politics here. You're watching politics when you do, and I mean, even this one a bit, the one guy, he's saying, I'm never going to get a fair trial, you know, with, if I were with my color skin or whatever. And the sheriff's like, or whoever's saying, you're watching too many movies or whatever. But, um, yeah. Having said that, if they had cast anybody else for this movie besides Denzel, it wouldn't have worked. And there is um, a pretty strong undertone of um, propaganda <laughs> in this movie. But uh, when when they start pulling politics into into it, there always is. So still. Can, can you count on anybody who's, you know what, I don't want to talk about this, because I'm going to get people upset with me if I talk about that. Fatal Attraction Season 1. So, I remember when Fatal Attraction, when the movie came out way back when, and thinking, I think it was Glenn Close that was in that one. And thinking, well, yeah, she's a freaky stalker, and, and he's an awful cheater, and I can't relate to either, and whatever, right? And, um, and still, I, I can't really relate to this either, but the, the man in this, he's a lawyer, and he's a total liar, and so his character works, right? You totally buy into that. And... Honestly, the mystery, I had not solved the whodunit. When when I got to the end and they showed whodunit, I wouldn't have guessed. I never I never had. So um so there's that. And then they managed to open things up at the end for a season two that nobody would have seen coming watching the rest of the season one, right? And honestly, I don't know if I buy it. I mean, the, with such little interaction, how could somebody be so influential in that way? Or it just doesn't. What are what are they trying to say out of this? That bitches be crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure, <laughs> but. Um, in any case, I don't, I mean, we're presented, I didn't buy into the, the pool scene and stuff like that. I, there was a lot in this that I'm like, okay, well, you have, maybe this is just a, this is presented as a possibility that it's somebody's story, right? And presumably it's his story. So this is, and he's a liar. So you get this possibility that's this story that you're watching and, and you think, okay, well, it doesn't sound believable, but you accept it because you think, okay, well, it's his story, probably. It's sure not hers, not the, the, the woman that's on the cover with him. So, so yeah, you accept that it must be his and he's a liar. So if things don't add up, you're like, well, that's just his story, right? It doesn't add up. But, um, anyway, yeah, um, it kept me watching, and I don't think I was doing art the whole time, so it must have been interesting enough. So, anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. Now, I was going to talk about, I guess, the, I was... This was years ago that I was attending um, a, a lecture that uh, somebody was giving about the um, CCT footage and stuff like that. And I guess the cameras, uh, 
they were asking, are, are the cameras racist? Because apparently they can't see color very well. So if um, some white dude is smashing things up and causing trouble in some place, well, the cameras, they can, they can ID him pretty well with the... Um, if they have him on camera, they can ID the, the white guy. But if um, some dark-skinned person is smashing things up, the cameras, they can't do the, um, the facial recognition software, somehow does not see. It doesn't, um, it doesn't see color. And I think this has to do with, you remember uh, probably about a week ago, I was talking about the drawing animals and how it's really really hard to draw or paint a black dog um, the woman in the drawing animals book was showing how to do it and you just have to look at the the reflections of light on the fur of the dog and whatever and, but it's really hard whereas it, uh, and I remember when I was art modeling somebody wanted to model me to model for them and they wanted me to wear a pencil shirt and I was like I look terrible in those but okay uh, and he, he said anything but black because he didn't want to have to draw the black and who does right it's tough so um, it might just be that that the facial recognition recognition software is having a hard time just like artists have a hard time with drawing the um, different shades of black or dark so that could be it but and in this movie I wondered if they were trying to if the makers of the, this movie were trying to encourage um, more African Americans maybe to Um, be say s secret agents or something like that that are going to take out maybe working for the CIA or something like that. I'm not sure, but um, or you know like some sort of a targeted vigilantism. <laughs> I'm not sure, um, but that part was a bit creepy for me, uh, and I because. Okay, my train of thought, I should probably tie that together for you. Because I was thinking, well, if the CCT footage and the facial recognition software allows African Americans to hide, essentially, while they're doing crimes, um, then they'd be really good at being secret agents, right? Or doing that sort of work. Because how are you going to catch them? If the camera, the camera sees them, big deal. It doesn't really see them because the facial recognition software doesn't either. And so that's what I was thinking with this, but honestly, I don't know. I don't know if that works. So it sounds like James is here. Maybe he has something to talk about. I'll move this out of the way and let James come in.